God, you are an awesome God, a magnificent God, an amazing God, a God who is loving, kind, generous, forgiving, merciful, all-knowing, all-powerful. You can heal any ailment, Father God. You know all things and you are everywhere. You are my Savior and my Lord. your salvation. I thank you that you gave me this day, that you saw fit to bring me into this brand new and beautiful day. I did not earn it through any deeds of my own, but you have a purpose for me and my life today. So you decided that I must stay so that I can fulfill that purpose and I am so grateful for that you did not have to leave me here on this earth but you did and I appreciate you for that Lord I thank you for all that this day will present will bring about will possess Lord, I ask that you touch, heal, and deliver all of those who need your touch, your healing, and your deliverance. We cannot do this on our, our own. We are not fit to do this on our own. We are nothing without you. We, your vessels, your creation, your children, are nothing without you and we need you today we have those that are being ruled by the enemy they are prejudiced they are hateful they are destroyers of anything good and I ask that you deliver the minds of those who are intent on destroying love, leaving out of hatred, and being unkind to others. Touch your children, Lord, that need your healing right now, that need your comfort, that need your peace, that need you, a better understanding of who you are and what you would have them to do who they are in you. Heal, Lord, those that are in the midst of some kind of mental or physical crisis. Whether it is mental illness, whether it is a terminal illness, whether it, they are emotionally bound in a negative way, Father. Heal them. Deliver the lost one. me, Father, however you will today. I am open to your will. And I love your guidance. In the powerful name of Jesus the Christ, my Lord and Savior, I have asked these things, and it is so. Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this, know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. You have absolutely no true idea. And I appreciate you because you didn't have to watch this. You don't have to even click on my name, my video. You don't have to subscribe don't have to hit the notification button you don't have to do any part of that but because you did I appreciate you and why do I say I appreciate you versus I love you because my love is a given 
My love is a given. I love everyone. Everyone. Because that is what the word says that I should do. And it's actually, in all honesty, very easy for me to do. Very, very easy for me to do. I remember once upon a time when it wasn't. I remember when it was difficult for me to love those who had wronged me. I remember when I used the word hate against someone. But my heart has so changed that I have no feelings of hate toward any human being. And I know that some will say, how is that even possible? It's all God. I didn't do it on my own. I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. I couldn't do it on my own. I tried. It didn't work. I had to turn to God to do that. I had to rely on him depend on him, trust him to turn my heart from hate to love. And when I say I'd use the word hate against someone, I mean just that. I'd use the word hate against someone. And it was the worst feeling, one of the worst feelings I've ever had. Because it was out of my character driving to work. Today will be the last day of my first week back to work. Um, but I wasn't one that just was known to hate people, intentionally hate people, purposefully hate people. That just wasn't who I was. I had never been that way. And then this tra tragic thing happened to me and I hated that person that caused it and came close to hating someone else that I felt played a huge part in it. So when I realized that that hate wasn't doing me any good, that hate was not harming the other person, it was actually doing more harm to me, that that hate had no purpose, quite honestly, in my life other than to destroy me. I tried to change and I was not able to change. I had to pray more. I had to turn to God. I had to connect with him in a deeper way so that my heart could be changed. So right now today, I love the person that offended me in that way. Um, and it's only because of God. It's only because of God. And not only do I love that person that offended me in such a way, but I love everyone. And it allows me that love that I feel for everyone because we are all God's people. We are all his creations. And that love that I have for everyone, that I purposely impose on everyone, um, allows me to be patient and tolerant and kind and it's a universal thing I, I love even those who hate me and truly genuinely hate me not because I've done any wrong to them but because they just hate me as a human being as a black woman they hate me because this is what they were taught um, to believe taught to do I love even them. I don't know, are you turning or are you parking? Because I need to go around you. Okay. Um, I love, genuinely love everyone. But I don't always have an appreciation for everyone. So I have to say that I appreciate you. Because sometimes I take for granted what people do for me and how kind people are to me. So I have to be able to say that I appreciate people. I have to be able to say that. So yes, I appreciate you for even looking at anything that I post. Whether it's a review, whether it's inspirational, 
whether it's informational, I appreciate you for clicking and watching, even for a brief moment. I appreciate you for that. I am now at work. I will be back on a bit later. Um, I'm grateful for my job, but I'm grateful that it's Friday as well. I'm grateful that it's Friday. Uh, and I'm trying to understand if that person works over there, why they parked over here. But you know what? It's good. It's all good. I'll be back later.